Welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the Volkswagen Passat Elegance with airline package on it. And in this video, I will review it. I will show you the interior, exterior, and every single feature uh, about this car. And you probably wonder why I'm here in the trunk, because this Passat is incredible spacious. And in this video, I will show you how much space you have here. You can even sleep here in this uh, trunk. And if you fall down the seat, it's amazing. I mean, you can carry so many things with this car. And yeah, first of all, I want to give you the technical detail and then we will go outside. I will show you the exterior, interior, uh, and we will go in every single detail. At the end of this video, you will find out, you will know everything about this Volkswagen Passat. It's not a brand new version. This is the 2020 facelift version and it comes with some kind of new features from Volkswagen, something that you will see also on the brand new cars from Volkswagen from 2021, even though the exterior design, it's kind of a classic design. Uh, it comes with some great features. And right now I have to tell you that I have with me right here, the Elegance version with airline package and it has the two liter diesel engine. This is the great option if you have a big family, if you travel many kilometers uh, every day or every year, uh, I think this is the best way to go. So two liter diesel engine, 240 horsepower, four cylinders in line. It's combined with a seven speed uh, automatic transmission DSG. Uh, also the color uh, of the car, it's Urano gray. You will see it in the moment, uh, the way it looks outside. And also it fits really well with the rims. Uh, I think the color, the rims and the color of the car fits super, super nice. Also the price of the car here at Gauchi Garage, guys, it's 73,000. 300 francs and this is a great price for the options that this car come with because you have almost a full full option so for example for every single option you will have to pay some extra and the starting price of this Passat Elegance it's 61,000 500 francs this is the starting price and from here you can add some extra options for example you can add the hooks in the back so for example you have a, a button here you press this button and the hook will come out down here under I think you can see it and for this hook you will have to pay 1350 francs and I totally recommend you to get it because it's really useful uh, even when you want to sell the car it's really really useful also I also recommend you if you are a fan of listen music inside the car the din audio confidence this is the speakers and the audio system it's really good 1460 francs the ambient package this is the ambient light inside the car look really good check out the test drive guys there you can see the ambient package also uh, the car come with led matrix headlights also, I really recommend it. This is the IQ Light, the latest technology from Volkswagen. You will have to pay 2,300 francs extra. It's a little bit expensive, but uh, they look really good. Then the air package, this interior and exterior air package, where you see the airline, uh, you see a few things in the interior, for example, the seats, you will have to pay 3,460 for the airline package. Yeah, also a little bit expensive infotainment package, 3,630, I will show you later. And yeah, other things, I don't think it makes some sense to show you and to, to tell you the other information. But yeah, those are the most important that I will totally go with it. Oh yeah, by the way, the panoramic glass roof, it's 1,540 francs. Then I will also recommend you to get it. Uh, the weight of the car, 1,998 kilograms, eight liter consumption and 209 uh, CO2 emission. That was the technical data. Now let's go to review exterior and interior. And before we do that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see the newest car that come on my channel. And also, if you want to see the test drive with this car, check out guys on my channel in the next days because it will come and let me put the hook back and we will continue the review so let's do it guys okay so let's go to the exterior design uh, we will make a round about the car and then uh, I will start to explain you a little bit here and there about the function and the options that the car come with uh, the color I already tell you before I think it fits pretty nice with the rims it looks quite nice and the design of the car, even if it's a classic design, I think Passat will stay always in the trend. 
uh, in terms of design, in terms of shape. And yeah, even though if the sportier brother Arteon shooting brake, it has a better aerodynamic and probably better um, drag coefficient. Also, this is a perfect all-rounder family car. Uh, in my opinion. So the chrome design here and their insertion look really good. And also on the Arte one, you can see the same things. Here you can see the fog lamps, LED light right here. I turn it on for you so you can see also the fog lamps, but the tail lights look really in a big way. In my opinion, uh, they are super beautiful. Also you have following turning signals, nice three-dimensional design there. You have these IQ lights from Volkswagen. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, but it's quite beautiful. They look really nice from the back side. Look at this. Really beautiful. Very visible from the back and very unique and nice design. Now on the number plate also you have LED lights. Keep in mind, you can see it from here very well. You can see that you have also uh, LED lights. Really, really nice. Really good uh, design. In terms of lights, Volkswagen Group is one of the best from this angle, you can see also the Matrix LED lights in the front. They are expensive, but they are totally deserve the money. You can see the following turning signals, uh, high beam, low beam. You have cornering lights down there. Everything in terms of lights, technology is here on the Volkswagen. Also the cornering lights, it's LED lights. I'm not sure if you can see it right now. They're off. Also, if you look closely there, you can see the little squares inside the headlights. Those are little, little, little LED lights. Those are helping to not blind the other traffic participant. The light can go down and up. They can also avoid obstacles like uh, other cars on the other lane and stuff like that. They are, they are just gorgeous. And also here you can see the IQ light. In terms of light, they are good. They do a the great job. Let me go a little bit in the front. You can see from here, from this angle, a little bit better. Gorgeous light, really. In terms of light, I don't have anything to say. Actually, you can see the, the cornering lights, the fog lamps are on right now. Not sure if you can see it so well on the video, but uh, they are on. You have the airline design right here uh, on the grill, chrome design on the grill, very similar with the Arteon, for example. Uh, very classic lines, chrome air intakes, cool down the engine. Here is the radar behind this logo for adaptive cruise control, emergency brake, and all that safety features. You have the camera right here. Uh, you have 360 degrees camera around the car. I will show you later. Then you have another air intake down here that allow the air to go to the radiator and then to cool down the engine. Other than that, chrome design, pretty simple bumper in the front. A little bit sportier. I guess it comes with the airline package. Uh, the bumper and the design here, this glossy plastic on the side, no air intakes here or stuff like that, but it looks quite sporty and nice. The hood, pretty simple, two uh, sharp edges line on the side, uh, but other than that, pretty, pretty simple. Up here on the windscreen, you have the camera for lane assist, emergency brake, and all that safety features also, raining and light sensors are there. And yeah, you have another airline logo here on the side, so you know that this is the airline. Uh, then on the mirror that you see it before, you have a camera under the mirror right here for 360 degrees camera. And then the handles are pretty classic. Uh, also you have keyless entrance, lock and unlock, uh, folding mirrors, electrically folding mirrors. Also in the back here, you have the four motion, uh, writing on the right side, so you know it's a four wheel drive. Uh, Passat leathers with a new logo here in the middle. Also the camera, it's behind the logo for the reverse camera. I will show you also when we go inside. And other than that, pretty nice, simple design, nothing super fancy. This, uh, although up here on the roof spoiler, these extra black glossy lines come with the airline package. They look nice, they fit nice, make the car look a little bit more sporty. Around the edges of the windows, you have this chrome design that fit quite nice with the car. I think with other color will fit even better. Roof rails, the same chrome, a radio antenna, nice and small. Uh, glass roof, I will show you a little bit later as we go inside. And then you have another uh, chrome design down here on the down part under the doors. The down skirt here, 
it's also simple and in plastic that means it will protect the car i like that even though it's the same color as the car this one here it's a plastic you can see it start to stop here so if you scratch the car you will don't have any problem and even if you go here in the front you will see you have some plastic protection plus this plastic down here so the car will not rust really easy in time so that's a good thing simple lines on the side interesting design simple nothing fancy there also in the back here you have four parking sensors chrome design on the down part some light reflectors two fake exhaust pipes also we have the hook uh, that you see before uh, and other than that chrome 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 and two exhaust pipes fake on the other side same story and yeah this is the back of the car on the right side diesel tank with add blue also on the right side and you can see even those windows here in the back are defrosted in the winter time you can see inside there you can see also the electronic uh, circuits inside there to to hit the window also glossy plastic i like this glossy plastic between the windows uh, and here you have some kind of black matte plastic uh, between those windows and the door but the fact that you have this window look how big is this window allow you to have amazing visibility in, from inside the car i think you can fit even seven seats inside this passat for sure really spacious now going to the rims 19 inch rims you can see right here 235 40 air 19 rims also the same gray color but it's matte here on the rims ventilated brake discs look gorgeous and in the front by the way you have multi-link independent suspension on the back in the front you have mcpherson independent suspension it comes with the same 19 inch rims but the brake discs are bigger ventilated brake discs much bigger than in the back other than that they fit quite nice on the car i don't know about you but yeah they look nice also in my opinion the front of the car look much better if the car was white i think it will look much beautiful but with the front bumper with the lines the design it's quite nice it's a practical car in my opinion if you want something extra something crazy something special with the same performance go for uh, rt1 shooting brake now down here you can open this up super easy you have actually um, a little clapper pedal here just like that you put it like that and you open it up i like how easy it is to open this and it's an automatic lift gate also i i like the the attention to the details the fact that they add this part here and there this aluminum that help a lot uh, to keep the the engine cold and silent inside here diesel engine two liters 240 horsepower as i said before uh, four cylinders in line the um, filter air filter fuse box liquid for the wipers this is the filter the diesel filter liquid cooling and yeah this is the engine guys automatic lift gate in the trunk also you can open it up from the key pretty simple up here you have a handle you have the buttons to close uh the trunk and to lock it also you have the triangle up here other than that huge entrance <laughs> that's why i start the video here in the trunk because it's incredible spacious this passat i mean the volkswagen did with this passat is just crazy i like it very much i like the way they create this trunk and also i like very much this aluminum at the entrance here it's super clean super premium nice uh hooks in every corner practicality it's level 10 here inside this trunk plenty of storage space here also the medical kit is here also you have this button that you see it before for the hook press it once the hook come out press it again and then the hook go inside and you can press it in like that then you have a 12 volt port here also you have these handles i love those handles you can fold down the seats i will show you later also you have some hooks here for the grocery on both sides and also the handle here the hook and then you have another space here on the left side of course in every corner you have hooks and of course you're wondering what is under the uh, the floor the floor it's a flat floor i love that and then under the floor check this out before we go under the floor check this out guys you can lift this up like that so if you have grocery or stuff you can keep them staying right there in that uh, place and not 
uh, playing in the in the trunk here or you can and look at this aluminum look how nice it is how premium is that open this huge area and you will have so much space here to put yourself even a spare tire you can fit it here i'm not sure if you can fit it because you have this speaker but anyway huge space huge huge space and if i'm not wrong i think you can get this out from here yes and put it a little bit downer i'm not sure about that anyway anyway huge space now you have also those that you can pull it like that and then you will have the protection here if you need it also this is very good quality not sure it looks like leather very nice i like that let me take this out then we will fold down the seats we will see how much space we have here in the trunk uh, with the seats folding down look at this this is the space here pretty cool big space here before i fold down the seats i want to show you that even from here you can also stretch out a little bit and you can fold this down and you have a super long space there for example if you have skis guys you can carry the skis right there and also you have two passengers in the back without any problem and it's such a long space and it's also a flat floor incredible if you want to fold down the seats just pull this like that check it out how easy it is and then it will go usually it has to go down but right now because the middle part is folded down perfect but look at this look at the space it's incredible spacious really incredible this is one of my favorite car in terms of practicality of course if you get the arteon you will never have so much space uh, inside the car but if you are for practicality and for space go with passat that's the answer if you want fancy sporty beautiful design go with arteon uh, they have the same mechanical parts the same reliability uh, the same stuff only thing that is different is the design and a few things here and there but in terms of practicality look at this <laughs> look at these guys i don't have to tell you anything and also uh it's quite quite fancy this car also it has some premium stuff here and there and it looks just perfect even the, the entrance in the car here the fact that you open this door almost 90 degrees and you have such a big entrance here one of the biggest entrance in this class is just crazy and let me put this back put the seats back in just one second the practicality is the first word for this car here in the back on the door you have huge doors and that's why you have also a huge window and they have to split it in two parts anyway it's huge uh, in order to fold it down you have to split it somehow so yeah big window you have soft material everywhere on the upper side soft and nice then you have the handles pretty nice in chrome even the speaker here look very beautiful inserted you have also ambient light in the door i think you can see it down there the red right now and you have this trim beautiful trim the same as on the arteon the same trim as we see there check out on my channel if you want to see the review with arteon then you have leather in this area white stitches beautiful soft material in this area uh, electric adjustable windows from here you can also fold it down completely that's an awesome thing even if you have a huge window you can completely fold it down and that's a plus for the car storage space plenty of storage space also you have this soft nice material here another speaker so you have two speakers on the door some light reflectors going inside here it's such a big entrance i can't believe how big it is you have also some aluminum plate at the entrance here uh, behind the front seats you have leather i like that soft and leather and some storage space behind here i like it look at the glass roof by the way look how beautiful it is you have to pay 1500 francs extra for that glass roof and totally deserve the money in my opinion because it comes so much light and it's so bright inside here it's so so nice also you have this airline seats with this carbon fiber effect on it and leather stitches stitches very good quality very comfortable uh, they are wide and yeah Volkswagen uh, makes some nice great comfortable seats and I like them Isofix 
two child seats also even this middle part you can see it it's really wide so even three people can sit here really comfortable you have the transmission tunnel that it's a little bit bigger but i will show you i will go there and i will show you how is the space also you have in the middle the armrest with two cup holders here very useful and then uh, here in the middle you have two vents and then you have the three zone climatic system heated seats also in the back for the passenger and down here you have an USB-C 12 volt port and a 150 volt outlet the same as on the RT1 this is the same everything is the same here I can go inside so easy I think I don't remember when I review a car last time when it was such a big such a big entrance and when you close the door you can see a lot of cars there plenty of cars and it's quite quiet i don't even need to tell you how comfortable i feel here and how much space i have and with this glass roof it feels like huge space in this car i think in this moment i feel like this is the most spacious variant estate car on the market today I don't know, I feel like that. Huge, huge windows and great visibility. You still have another big window in the back there. Incredible big visibility, it's great. Also up here you have a handle, uh, good quality material on the roof. Also you have an LED light up there. And yeah, amazing visibility on this glass roof. Really good visibility. Anyway, I know, I know you care about the space on my knees. It's huge, almost half of my hand here plenty of space i can stretch my legs under the front seat i have 173 centimeters by the way so you can make an idea on how much space you have in the car plenty of space great i love it going in the middle look at this it's flat i can go in the middle pretty easy once i'm here of course it's a little bit stiffer down and back is not so comfortable as on the side but how much space i have a lot of space because it's the roof there is the glass and on the roof also five fingers stretch my hand completely and then on the other side stretch completely wow three people no problem even for for long trips here and i can stay even comfortable if i go a little bit down or like that super comfy i like it super spacious and also the visibility it's gorgeous from my angle here we will go in the front guys and we will talk about the, the dashboard design, we will talk about the multimedia system and the things in the front there. But I have to say that the dashboard is the same dashboard that you will find it on the new Volkswagen RT1 shooting brake. So with these vents right there, with the chrome insertion, the same shape, the same multimedia system, the same cockpit, of course different steering wheel, but everything else is the same, even the center console it's, it's the same one. Anyway, guys, let's go in the front. Let's talk about the things there. I want to show you something first time. The door's quality, it's really good. You can hear it. Great quality on the doors. Open the door, the same as in the back. The door, it's super big. And also you have big entrance here in the front. Big window here, made from two parts, one fixed right there. Then going forward, you have here the same soft material on the upper side everywhere here soft material and nice Dean audio uh, right here and also some chrome design around for lock and unlock I like very much those handles the way they look and also this trim 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 here looks so nice ambient light you can see it right here under not sure if you can see it but you have ambient light on the doors right here then leather white stitches soft material on your armrest everywhere then the controller for the windows the buttons for the windows and also for the mirror you can fold the mirror heated mirror and electric adjustable mirror from there then here plenty of space stuff material uh, another speaker you have three speakers on the front door uh, and then you have this button to open the trunk other than that pretty good quality on the doors as well before we go inside, down here you have some plate, aluminum plate, aluminum pedals, very good quality on the pedals. And of course it comes with electric adjustable seats for the driver and for the passenger. And it comes with this Ergo Comfort seat that you have to pay also extra to get it at an, an option to have it. And also you have massage on your seat. And then you have two position to save the electric seat. So that's super convenient. You can also adjust the seats here in the front, but 
if we look at those airline seats, those are special and also you have to get it extra but they look super nice, they are very comfortable, also super sporty, they, they hold you very well uh, between there but I find the seats from the Arteon a little bit better than this those one even though they look nice with this carbon fiber effect here and here it looks really expensive but also those are really uh, comfortable as well they are much better uh, than many many seats that I see it on the on the market now down here some storage space then you have the controllers also this is the same one as you find it on the um, Arteon shooting brake, the new one, head-up display, you can control it from here. Going a little bit upper here, you have this ambient light insertion with chrome and this trim design, then the vents right here, also with a little bit of chrome. Uh, soft material everywhere on the dash, you have soft material, head-up display is there, you have another speaker right there on the dash, and other than that, the dash is simple and nice, I like it. I like it, it's quite modern and nice in my opinion. Great. From here, visibility, it's very good. In terms of visibility, I don't have any complaint ever in a Volkswagen car. Uh, even there in the back, you don't have any blind spot. Very good visibility. The seats are also okay in the back. You can see it one more time. Here you have this armrest that you can also adjust it like that. Soft. You have a USB-C port, some storage space, 12 volt port close and open electronic handbrake auto hold in the center console uh, also it's pretty classic this center console i wish they change it they add this shift by wire transmission in the future they they must add it uh, this is the stick this is the start engine button then you have the driving mode different actually i want to show you right now let me start the engine because i forget after all start the engine now here you have start stop engine button then you have these driving modes press this driving mode and then it will go in these uh, four driving modes so you have the echo mode you have the comfort mode you have the normal mode and then you have the sport mode and on the individual mode you can customize and change the different uh, settings the way you want this dcc because the car come with this dynamic chassis control and then you can activate the different functions you can choose how you like to have it the steering you will find out more information about those uh, function in my other video so check out the test drive guys on the other side you have this 360 degrees camera you can see it right here the camera resolution is not the best on the market but it's work uh, it makes his purpose perfectly so you can see different information in the front in the back pretty well the lines even for a trailer and yeah it's nice it's nice it's good going forward here you have a space where you can charge your phone wireless also you can put the card you can start the car uh, with that card keyless card i think i show you before the key i'm not sure if i show you the key guys by the way i want to show you the key first of all this card is new by volkswagen this is the mobile key so you can start the car with this uh, card it's the same as on the tesla model 3 this is really awesome also you have here the key lock and unlock and then you have another small key for the climatic system turn it on and off anyway i will leave the key right now here in this place and then let's go forward uh here you have the climatic system is the new climatic system from volkswagen look really good also from here you can change uh kind of a touch screen it works like a touch screen guys i know many people complain about that but it's easy to use here you choose the van speed here you choose the temperature with with the finger like that and then you have heated seats and all that function up there uh, also you have the menu button here if you go to the menu press it once the menu it will appear on the multimedia system and you can change other things here for example vents from here um, let me put it on one and then you can choose also where to go the air the temperature and also auxiliary heater from here from the key you can choose and uh, customize from the key and then when you, when you can use the key that small key that i showed you before and yeah anyway uh, you can control it from from both parts also from down here and also from the screen so that's the climatic system and it's it's the new one that i told you uh, the car come with 
Uh, other than that, the multimedia system, it's pretty classic. I think you already know it. 9.3 inch display, home screen. On the home screen, you have the navigation system uh, and also the telephone, the media. Then on the second page, let me go back. I made another video with this multimedia system, so check out on my channel, it's a full review with it. Then on the second page you have the compass, you have the consumption and information about the car. Then you have also um, some favorite buttons, you can customize it and add it here the way you want it. Then if you go to the menu here, you have all the menu, radio, then you have the telephone, you can connect your telephone, Bluetooth and stuff like that. Navigation, it's the latest navigation from the Volkswagen Group. It works really good. Um, it doesn't have lag, it has a little bit, but it's, it's one of the best. It's easy to use, easy to, to adjust different settings and to set different destination. Once you set it, it works perfectly. And also you can see it right there on the screen uh, once you set the navigation. Then you have the driver assist here. On the driver assist, you have the IQ drive that comes new. This is a new system, adaptive cruise control, front assist, uh, all that safety features, lane assist, side assist. Um, dynamic road sign display trailer recognize and also all that you can activate and deactivate it super simple from here going to menu you have the media here you can connect your media through different sources application android auto apple carplay mirror link then you have the vehicle information with the consumption last 32 kilometers it's a brand 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 new car so uh, yeah, don't expect to have already great consumption. Also, you can see and change uh, the driving data from here. Then you can see the blue thing trainer. It will help you how to drive economical vehicle status. Here you have all the errors from the car. Yeah. And then you have the sound from the sound. You can choose and change different settings of the sound from here. And then on the second page, you have the air conditioning. You already see it. Legal help user settings. On the settings, you have all the settings of the car, like time and date, language here, units. You can change kilometer miles and all that stuff. And also you have the software information uh, about the car. Another thing that I wanna show you, when you go to vehicle and you go to settings down here in the right side, you have another settings, the most important settings of the car. Uh, traction control, activated tires, lights, parking, um, background light, mirrors and wipers, when to fold down, not to fold down. Uh, the mirrors, for example, you can choose to fold down mirrors when you lock the car, when you unlock it. If I go back, you can see the background light. Uh, on the background light, you can choose automatic or manual. On the manual, you can choose different colors inside the car. Uh, for example, which color you want to choose. Let me choose a blue or yeah, maybe blue, maybe red. Anyway, you have plenty of colors. I put it on automatic like that. Anyway, and then go back. And you have also seat, instrument cluster, head-up display, unit service. Yeah, all the settings of the car are here. So that's the multimedia system. It's quite good, one of the best, even though it's not the latest from uh, Volkswagen, it's, it's one of the best. Up here you have Passat writing uh, and the blinker button right here. Pretty nice vents, also really well integrated here in the dash. I like it very much the way they integrate it. I like also this trim, the glow box, it's quite huge. And also it's refrigerated. You can keep your things cold right there. Soft material everywhere on the dash. I like it, really good. Mirror here, very nice, tiny edges on the mirror. I like very much the way it looks as well. Really beautiful and very good visibility in the back there. You have a huge window, you can see from this angle huge window in the back there uh, also here you have a mirror with led light good quality handles good quality on the roof also up here um, you have those uh, sos button and information and also service and then you have some kind of led light let me show you rear led lights up here they look also nice simple also those buttons you can close and open this I will show you in the moment from the sunroof, this protection for the sun. And from here, let me zoom in, you can open this sunroof. Okay, let me show you now. I hope you see it from this angle. You can open this sunroof, it's incredible big. And 
yeah, I will totally get it as an option. In the summer days like that, you have this insect protection here. In the summer days like that, it's just fabulous to have this. Also close it back and then you have that black protection uh, for the sun, shade protection, I should say. I think this is the name, shade protection. So you can put it like that and you don't have any, any sun inside the car. Yeah. Here you have the controller, as I said, for the um, head up display. The head up display is behind the steering wheel on a glass piece of glass. It cost you around 500. Uh, it's great. The colors, the resolution, the things that uh, look there on the screen, they are perfect. But the fact that you have this glass here in a day, sunny day like that, it's a little bit distracting, at least for me, and I will not get it. Probably I will buy the car without it and yeah or i will buy it with it and i will close it and maybe i will use it only sometimes uh, but anyway it's great that you can close it and, and have it there all the time when you need it the steering wheel you can adjust it forward backward up down the way you want it super simple it's the new logo it's kind of half of the new steering wheel half of the old steering wheel uh, you have this old uh, physical buttons to control the cruise control here on the left side and then on the right side you have all the function where you can control the, the screen in the front there but there are not the new controllers button uh, as have Arteon shooting brake have those glossy plastic buttons uh, the new one with the touch uh, buttons I know many people complain about them so maybe it's okay to have those physical button as well and from here you can control everything every single thing you want from the cockpit other than that uh, it's a nice one. It's you have the airline steering wheel. You have this little 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 holes and nice grip on it It's it's great in terms of uh, quality. It's great, but it's not the latest this one that Volkswagen Golf uh, 8R have it or GTI for example where you have this extra grip here in this area where you can grip it a little bit better and here It's a little bit fatter the other and also on the Arte one uh, shooting brake you have it but on this one it's kind of the, the old one it's nice but yeah it's also nice and it looks quite quite relatively uh, very good now the head-up display is the same one and it looks perfect I mean you can have the, the navigation all over the screen you can have wherever you want there whatever information you want telephone vehicle status driving data by the way the driving data uh, you can see the consumption and then you can have navigation you can have it like that if you want to see also the classic speedometer and you can have all the screen navigation and also of course you can customize in many ways i have another video all about that if you want to see it check out on my channel great now guys i think i show you almost everything in this Passat. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you find it useful. I hope you get some useful information from here. If you are on the market for uh, Passat, I think you get some useful information from this video. Also in your country, maybe in other country, uh, the price may be different in Switzerland. Sometimes the price are bigger, but uh, yeah, keep this in mind. Also guys, if you wanna buy the car, if you are in Switzerland, around Switzerland, in Germany, no matter where you are around here, you can check out on the Gaucci website. I will leave the link in the description to the car. So if you wanna buy it, if you wanna see it, if you wanna test it, check out, test drive it, uh, call them and ask them about the cars. They will help you. Also, I see that they have some great discounts in the last time, even the Arte won't have around 10,000 francs discount. So great price. Check them out, guys. Also, if you want to find out more technical detail about cars in general and about auto industry, check out our website sda-car.com. There you find a lot of articles and stuff about the car, about how to buy a car and stuff like that. Also, um, if you like the music, you have the link in the description. As a conclusion, Passat will stay always a Passat and uh, it's a classic car. It has tradition, I should say, because plenty of space, huge space for you, for the passenger, for carrying stuff. Uh, the exterior design, of course, it's much beautiful, the Arte one shooting brakes, but I like this one as well. It's nice, it's classic, it's simple, but you have the technology, you have the IQ light, you have the travel assist, adaptive cruise control, all that stuff. 
are awesome. Okay guys, I hope you really enjoyed the video. I hope it was useful for you. Don't forget to like and share. I would really appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see the test drive with this uh, Passat variant uh, R-Line. And thank you very much for watching. Stay safe guys and I guess I see you soon in the next one. Bye guys.